like to work on first is loading up his hips. All of our rotational energy and force is going to come from where? Thanks to the leg, but through the ground. Okay, in order to do that, we've got to load our hips up. Okay, so as this is loaded and this back hip, this is going to go with momentum. Okay, so we're almost going to lead with our butt. Yep. So we're going to just we're just going to lead with that glute. Okay. okay. So lead just leading with that glute is going to allow you to take away from loading the hips, multiple words and stuff like that. So it's just going to say pocket. We're going to really load up with that pocket. So all we're really doing is we're bringing our left knee to our right shoulder. Now we're leading with it, and then we want momentum. We want to fall into it. I want you to get the feeling of, of falling and creating that momentum. So that's how we can create momentum as a pitcher being stationary, just like if we were fielding. So we're using our feet. So what we're going to do is we're going to get here, catch it that way. The other thing that we can do is if uh, you can put like a dot or something up on the wall or on the door, and it's going to help you train keeping your eyes on target. So we got our eyes, we got our visual here. Okay, so as I start to fall, I should do what? Separating or breaking our hands in the strike zone, or at least to where our location is, okay, where, where uh, our catcher and our target is. Okay, so we're here. Left knee, right shoulder. We should be here, looking right over your shoulder. Okay, we should be a little bit stuck here, not back here. Okay, so you should feel this back here. Um, slightly tense, activated. getting you to squeeze through everything to utilize all the muscles in your legs. It's the same thing. So you should feel it activated where it's tense. Okay, we just, I just want you to get the feeling of falling before we do it. The only thing that should touch the fence is about you. Yeah, I'm not using my arm as much. Yeah. The idea is this to be free. It's to be free. Less stress, the longer that we're going to be able to use this thing. And it's the same concept as the bat, right? We want that barrel to be a whip. We want this to be loose and free. Wham! So those high velocity guys, you see their arm action? It's yeah. like all yeah. controlled. It's like a Goku or something. They're going Super Saiyan. They're like building it up. They're building it up. And then it's so so you can distinguish okay what is the change of thrown off what pitch is it thrown off so if this is a forcing fastball grip okay the only thing that's different here so this is something that you just you got to play catch with it okay and you just got to play with it you've got to get comfortable with the grip this is the hardest grip to get comfortable with it really, it really is. I couldn't throw a changeup when I was younger either. When we get good at it, right? Two seam grip, two seam circle change. Okay, what's what's the whole idea of the two seam? What's it supposed to do? It's like But what? If you're a right-handed thrower, what's it supposed to look like? It's like that. Yep, right? A little bit of, it's called arm side run. Okay. Because it's your arm side. Like a lefty has natural arm side run, right? All yeah. the lefties are Okay, that's just natural. That's just how they throw. Be left-handed. Yeah. So it's the same concept. If we can get any kind of two seam action on the changeup. If we have a good two seam, it's gonna go off of that two seam fastball. Okay. okay. The best off-speed pitch is a changeup thrown off of a good bounce. Even if you take a good swing, good bounce swing, it's just doing that involved. That's how the pitch. 
like just in normal catch play, like at the end there, depending on who your partner is, you can play catch with you. Awesome. Yeah, I'm going to Okay, awesome pitches, right? Well, guess what you guys can do for the last maybe two minutes of your throw? Okay. Yeah, every once in a while, last year with the guys at Chino, what we would do is we would play long toss with not just the, the four seam, we would throw two seams in there, so you had to control it from 200 yeah, feet, 300 feet cool. away, right? And your changeup. Okay, so the changeup is actually really good to throw in long toss because it has to be thrown at the same arm speed as your fastball. Yeah. That's where it wins because it's coming out like a fastball, boom, and then it's <laughs> it breaks on you. So it's got to be thrown at the same arm speed. So when you're throwing long toss, you guys out there a couple hundred feet and you're letting it go, you have to let it go, otherwise you're not going to make it. You just want to change it. Okay, so those are some of the things that you can add in with your partner. So let's work through that change a little bit. We'll just do for I'll stand up so we're not worried about necessarily the pitching part of it. We want to create some field. And then we'll do some short work where we won't be distance, we'll be 45 feet, and we'll figure out some breaking balls. Okay. Arm feel good, fine. Yeah, just fast ball, walk into it. Let it go. Feel good. Now that that happened, this is, this is good. This is good, this is good. I can teach you how to make adjustments and, and be a little bit more of a pitcher to control. Really spiked it, right? Yeah. What were you looking for? I guess like, it's like your glove. Your glove, okay, so you were looking at the glove that was here, right? Would you change your, your hat? Like yeah, yeah. Make the adjustments. That's a simple adjustment. We gotta try to make it as simple as possible for a couple. I'll, especially for the change up, not here. I want you to think the logo on my hat. Okay? Fastball first. you to get comfortable with loading those hips up and creating and allowing the momentum. Okay, now when we're actually trying to accelerate and throw harder, we've got to be, when we're in those pull downs, we've got to have high intent. Okay, because the only way to throw harder is to try to throw harder. 
Now don't try to throw the arm harder. Focus on the lower half and just getting to a good pull down release. So we're getting good on a line throw. Focus on the lower half right. To go over the film that your dad took today. Take a day with Austin. Hey, do you want to work on our fielding techniques and catch play today, or do you want to work more pitching specific if you can throw uh, like change ups or two seams in the long run. If you can if you can if you can control a, a two seam at over 90 feet, you think you can control it at 60 feet. Thanks, man. Not bad. That's why I need to pull through. Okay. 